Welcome back. We need to head back into extra dimensional space to find the fake noirs. So let's go. Let's do our best. Indeed. Right, so I do have another Mr. Crossbow story. It's it's quite bizarre. <laughs> but when are they not I bizarre when it comes to Mr. Up. Crossbow? Right, one of every enemy though. So, I was Hi, mentioning before how he had a neighbor. Who mysteriously dis Death. not disappeared? Death. Mysteriously died, Death. if you recall. Just yeah, just, just mysteriously died. You know, apparently she was Here too I noisy, come. but she's not a problem anymore because there. she's dead. So I brought there this up come. again that I'd mentioned it on these videos, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that reminds me. They should have that, shouldn't they?" It's like, have what? What? What should they have? What are you on about? It's like one of those apps. It's like right. An app for what? It it's like, you know, if you want it arranged. My best action what? now is What arranged? What are you on about? Right? And he's like, but if, you're, if you want like, someone to die. Like, what? It's you like so You mean like Hitman? Like, no, 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 no. Be like gone. euthanasia. Like you, you know, you it's like you, you've had enough now, of life and I you could just reach over to your phone Prepare and press yourself. the button on the app and someone comes there. and you know finishes it off. There. It's like what? Like what is? Quick. What? Got you want you. an app on your yeah. phone that allows someone to come and kill you if you've had enough? And he's like, yeah, 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 that'd be a good idea. It's like, no, no, it wouldn't. On so many levels, would that not be okay? It's like, well, you need to have like a psychiatrist come see you and make sure you're all right first. It's like, yeah, but you don't put that in an app. Like, you don't make that a button on an app. That's not... What do you want about? This should be easy. It was just now, very crazy. I was just bewildered do? pretty much ha, most of the day. You. Just bringing it up, up, up over and over again. A bit like with his watch that tells him to breathe. I kept bringing that up over and over again. It was just... One of the bizarrest things I've ever heard anyone say. And he thinks it's a good idea and, and, and people would use it. Like... Yeah, yeah, but there's so many problems with that. You're basically condoning murder because it's against the law in the UK to euthanize someone, basically. I can take care of Assisted suicide, that sort of thing. My best so, because it was count as murder or gone. manslaughter. There. And I told him this. He's like, no, 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 because you know, all you're doing is there. pressing an app. It's like, yeah, but the people who designed the app my day, my true power would be in trouble. Near. They would get in trouble. It's like, oh, well, I don't, I don't have to worry about them. But this will what we do, Let's end if you're going to make this app, you, you do need to worry about them. The people who are making this app. It's like, yeah, but they'll get money, won't they? Like, that's not... What, you have to pay for this app? Like, I thought you were helping people. It's like, no, no, I thought it'd be a good moneymaker. What? A good moneymaker? You're killing people. In an app. That's not... No. No, I am not. I'm not with this idea of your app that helps with assisted suicide. No. My turn. It's just I don't know. I don't know where he gets these crazy ideas. But why he brought that up in relation to the fact that his neighbor had died? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm just saying that might be related somehow. Might be. I don't know how though. I think we all know how, but you know, just yeah. You know. We'll claim we don't know how, and just in case he makes us click on an app. Take this, not even yeah, be careful if there's some guy from Britain Take who basically this. goes like, Hey, check out this be app gone. on your phone. Press I'm this slow. button. You know, someone My might turn. show up and try to kill you. Got you. Yeah. Because you, 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 you're you you done. You don't, you don't need to do any more. I mean, as we know, from his point of view, life ends at 50. There's nothing worth going on for anymore. It's just... It's so bizarre. So bizarre. I don't even know where to begin with him to begin with. It's like, I, I, I kind of think, and this is like serious now, like serious, serious. I did try to explain this to him. Like, he should go get tested because it, it might be worth it. It's like, I think he might be autistic on, on the scale somewhere. But I don't know. Is there 
what aspect? So does any, anyone know? Like, what kind of autism that could be or, or something like that? It, it, it feels... There's something like that going on with him. Like, a, sort of like an odd perception of the world. Like, because... If anybody knows about what is it called? The Sally Ann problem. Where, like, people don't have a perception of the world. Right, it's usually in kids very, very young. Where they view the world through their eyes. Oh, the event's right here. Well, we'll continue this after this event. Damn it. Where the hell is that stupid robot being held? Why oh, are you using bad words? Oh, it looks like Blan. Hi, my. That is awful for Pishi's upbringing. So please refrain from using such vile words. I'll do what I can. Hm. The moment Neptune and Plutia took her in, this girl lost all hope of having a normal upbringing. But Compra and IF turned out alright. Fanning your flames over to us now. It's cool, Neptunia has been her teacher, so she'll be just fine. Pishi never listens to anything I try to teach her. Oh, they're here! Noir, ladies, over here! I hear daddy! He sounds a bit too jolly. Oh, why is he happy, huh? Why? You're such a tease, Noir. You made me wait for so long. I'm not teasing you. If you had that much composure, go ahead and rescue yourself. Yeah, yeah, but I'm in a situation. Whoa, there are one, two, four, four Noir copies. It's one, two, three, and then four, remember? Oh, there are one, two, three, and then four Noir copies. Yes, yes, that's very good. I've started to dote on Pishi more than me lately. You're actually concerned about that? Dude, wait. That's a weird thing to be jealous about. Don't forget that I'm your big sister, okay? Me. I am. Now, now, please stop talking and save me already. We're not here to save you or anything. We're just here to get rid of those unpleasant fakes. Because of how you tend to act, try to realize that Lion came across as a Sundere hiding her feelings. Why does everyone always say that? Because it's true. <laughs> Do I really get to torment so many noirs as much as I want? Huh? Plodia? Put that into tormenting noir? Huh? No, that's not it. I mean, Noir is my friend. Huh? I, I feel like I may or may not remember such a thing happening to me in the past. We are going to Louis. These Noirs aren't my friends at all, so... There's no problem if I go all the way with them. That's what she says. Any reactionary comments, Noir? How's your mental stability? Well, um, I have some pretty complex feelings about it, but it's fine, just so she destroys them. Uh, I completely understand Plutia's feelings. I'd love to join in the fun with her, if possible. You jump into the fray, I'll blow you up along with them. Oh, I see. Then I'll hush and watch you from over here. Now then. I'll show you the difference between the real black heart and the fakes. <laughs> I take you all, Lun. Said that a bit weird. All right, let's see what we got I here. Beat my authority. Ready with your skull. Only two of them. But there was one, two, four of them. All right then. I'm assuming there's going to be more after. So let's see here. Let's, let's still continue to get our SP up with the You're ones who need their SP up. Namely, Noir. Alright, so we can do broken fannings. Oh, I'll do broken fannings. Let's go, Bert! Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Yes. Let us sisters ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. work together. Here. We will finish this off together. Yes! The finale! <laughs> Finally. Right, so Plantoon CPU. Let's do that on the other one. Let's go, Flutie. Yes, you lead. I'll fight. We can joke around after we win. The final blow. I'll trample you. 
You prepared? Oh, I expected more from that. Heartbreak! Nothing can survive against my Super Dreadnought class strength! Next battle, I assume. Ready whenever. There we go. Why would they not just make me face all four at once? Kind of weird. All right, let's get some SP charges thrown about. How's this? May as well. Ah. Drop crash. Is that it? I am ready. Let's see here. The SP charger. Does she need it? Maybe yes. Maybe this is a bit much. May I begin? It's it's not a bit much. It's fine. I wonder what will happen I'm ready if I anytime. use this. Okay, so it's him again. This? Good enough. Good. Another drop crash. How nice. Ready whenever. Barely anything. Alright, so let's see here. Infinite Slash or Shining Force? Shining Force is only going to be on the one because they're not grouped up well together. Alright, Infinite Slash, it is then. This is the true strength of Last Station CPU! Go away! The go away seems so wrong for that. It's like, go away! It's like, alright, alright. Alright, so, let's do a Silhead Spear. I think I'm close to getting Vert. XE Drive skill, by the way. Might be this one. She was 95 or something like that when I checked in between the parts. So something like that. I'm very, very, very close with Vert. Very close. Could do... Nah, we'll do the XE skill. T Blake kick. I've taken a liking to you. So I'll show you my special attack. I'll give you a little extra service. Mwah! Mwah! It's prepared! Okay, so hard break it is. Nothing can survive against my super dreadnought class strength. This is the end. Take this with you into the afterlife. God break at the you end like there. The power of Louise CPU. You're a bit too happy there. Doesn't really suit you. So much leveling. That about does it. These noirs don't cry or beg. I'm boring. It's not like I cry or beg anyway. Noir, you cry? Like I have? Hmm, maybe she has. They're similar character types, really. I think I have only cries when the situation involves Plutia. Oh dear, they're all gone. What a waste. No, it's not. If you keep talking nonsense, I will rip you to shreds. Just a joke, my scary ice queen. Well, I gathered enough samples, so I can reproduce them anytime. What? Did you just say something that I can't ignore? Uh, Noir, are you still mad? Oh, you're back to normal. Satisfied? Hmm, I already knew it in my heart. But the real one is more fun. Did you hear that, Noir? She favours you over your copies. That'd be a stupid thing to be happy about. Jeez. Whatever. We've accomplished our goal, so let's go home. Noir's stubbornness makes its return. If we don't find the source, more copies are going to get made. You understand that, right? Shut up, I only said that just in case, you know, to stop others from saying it. 
This is no time to protect your honor. Ladies, I need to thank you properly. So, thank you very much, CPUs. You're welcome. I already said that we didn't do this for your sake or anything. Really? I thought that if you had, I'd go ahead and delete my secret noir folder from my hard drive. You got me. This was all for you. Completely for your sake, so hurry up and delete it. This guy really knows how, how to type on Noir's keyboard, if you know what I'm saying. Mr. Creepy Robot is amazing. I want to know how to get under Noir's skin, too. <laughs> you need a little more experience, Blutia. Otherwise, it'll be too difficult for you. Since it would be so terrible if I were to get caught up again. I don't know I got the up from. I'll go home instead of getting in your way. Hurry up and fade into obscurity. Daddy, are you leaving? I'm sorry, sweetie. Please look after your mummy. Okay, leave it to me. And a small warning to the CPUs. Ray, in her current state, has nearly as much strength as all of you. Nearly as strong? Is there any evidence to support your words? Call it a maiden's intuition. She was giving off that ambience. Ambulance? Yeah, close enough. Ambience. You expect us to believe such unreliable reasoning? Just try to be cautious, will you? If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Nobody will get hurt either way. Not like we were going to let our guards down against someone who can make copies of us anyway. You're right. Maybe I'm just being a nervous wreck over nothing. How long are you going to talk? When are you going to slink away? Oopsies. You're right. The rest is up to you. I sure do hope we'll meet again. Bye bye, Daddy. And we never see him again. Oh, oh, we see him right now. I think I would be indebted to the CPUs. I'm going to feel so icky unless I return the favor. But what does he plan to do? Right, so where were we? Ah, yes. Describing Mr. Crossbow and his sort of personality and the way he sees the world. Yeah, he, he sees the world through his eyes and his eyes only. That's the thing, it's only. So, say he knows some piece of information. Like, he'll accept that as fact, and anyone else should know this as well. It's like, everyone knows this. This is fact. It's that sort of thing where it's like, because he's been told something, now everyone else knows it as well. It's it's that sort of thinking. It's like, no, it's like, well, I thought everyone knew that. Like, no. Why would we know that? I can't think of a piece of information that fits what I'm saying, but you get the general idea. It's just very odd how he sees the world. It's like, that that does seem a bit autistic in a way. I'm not, I'm not sure how or like what aspect it would be, because his social skills are a bit off, to say the least. Like, we are going on about how rude it was to ask someone's age, etc. And his response to this was to ask the person next to him how old they were. But not like, oh, okay. so it would be rude to be like, how old are you? He just straight out asked the person next to him. He's like, what are you, 60? 65? Like, um, that's incredibly rude. So rude. Hey, how long are you going to sit here spacing out? Silence. Calm down, will you? Stop buzzing around like a filthy little mosquito. I ain't no mosquito. I want you to hurry it up and go wild already. <laughs> you say such ridiculous things. Someone important like me should sit in the back and wait. You're the one being ridiculous. You used to go wild and screw crap up all the time. Used to? <laughs> what are you talking about? I have no idea what you mean. You're so full of it. In any event, Sitting around here is so boring. Oh, I'm afraid I don't understand. Since when was I obligated to do things for your entertainment? Jeez, you're freaking annoying. I knew you were from the start. Who are you calling annoying? I'm on top of the world right now. Yeah. So, how about you laugh with me? <laughs> it's, it's not a great laugh, is it, really? Jack all, so I'm bored to tears. I can't laugh now. So noisy. Your incessant buzzing is far worse than any bug. Maybe I'll squash you. 
Squash them instead! You don't have to tell me that. Look, they're finally here. Whoa, really? Such droll, incompetent, foolish, imbecilical nincompoops! They make me ever so angry! Look at her eyes! <laughs> Use that energy to fry them! I'll be watching for my box seats! Oh, there's, there's box seats? Do they have complimentary food? I might have some. Did you really hear something, Nepgear? Yes. I'm sure I heard voices coming from this direction. You are positive you are not mistaken? I didn't hear anything. Aw, uh, if nobody has any confidence in me, then I won't either. Aw, poor Nepke. I heard it! Someone was talking! Oh, if Pishi heard it, then there's no doubt in my mind at all. So rude! Pishi has such good ears! So does Nepke. I'm used to this treatment now, but I don't really understand why it has to be like this. I just, I just want to give Nepgear a hug. Everyone's just being cruel. How is it that Pishi is trusted and Nepgear is the punching bag? Self-loathing? The environment? Nope. The writers. I'm not self-loathing. Seems like you really did hear something. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, it's Mommy. Hi, Mommy. You're late. Oh, oh. You there! How dare you raise your voice at a small child! That's so mean! Silence! For mere CPUs to make me wait this long! How hateful and unpleasant and utterly pretentious can you be? She's pissed off for selfish reasons. Neptune, this woman was definitely in our world too! Yeah, but something's wacky to me. Was this really her personality? Mommy, are you angry? I am not your mother. I never dated any man, and I certainly never gave birth to you. Maybe there's a reason for that. So stop treating me like your mother. Oh, gee, I'm so sorry that I haven't got married yet. But, all right, all right, jeez, you don't need to get married. <laughs> Mommy, you don't like me anymore. Hey. No making Pico cry. You've gone too far, you old bag. Haven't you been listening? She's just been spouting nonsense. It's time you told us who you are and why you do something like this. What? You think I'd tell you just because you asked? Are you dense? Do you want to die, you stupid brat? What? Oh, how mortifying. Because I didn't do well enough, I had let these CPUs do whatever they please. Oh, I hate myself so much. Look, I'm in complete shock. She is as well. Look at her face. Yeah. What? what's wrong with her? Was this really your mother, Pishi? No, my mommy was very nice to me. She was always scared and nervous, but she was still nice. Seeing the psychotic display, I can't imagine they're the same person. Who's psychotic? Everyone acts like there's something wrong with me, but I'm correct at everything, ever. I mean, I mean, just look at those eyes. They don't seem psychotic at all. You're the ones who are wrong. This whole world is wrong. She repeats her crazy speeches more than late night programming. Indeed. You don't have to force a joke in now of all times. But you guys, she's way creepy. She's like a serial killer. Or maybe she hears secret messages on the radio. Well, we've all heard the secret messages on the radio, Nep. I have such a strong sense of responsibility, though, so I need to clean up this mess with my own hands. Even then, you kept me waiting thanks to your slowness and your damn lollygagging. I think I get it. We were drawn out here just as she planned. And she made Pishi cry for such a silly reason. <laughs> Mommy! Aww. Just, just, again, I just want to hug Pishi now. No more blah, blah, blah. You told us your story, right? A woman who makes a child cry has no right to act so haughty. Dead. Goodness! 
Claudia, don't change without warning again! No, no. This time it is appropriate. But Sadie might stand a chance against this weird radio station subliminal message hearing chick. Your true, vulgar self appears, I see. This is why you CPUs are vile and vicious flights. Oh, trying to rile me up with words? I'm more likely to react to praise than insults. I have a feeling things are gonna get out of hand. So transform! <laughs> but I'm going to pass on taking point. Neptune, transform and manage this situation somehow, would you? Hey, that's not fair. Pretty sneaky, Noir. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Do 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 do. Yet another scandalously dressed CPU. It was a mistake for people to worship beings like you from the start. As I thought, you're all wrong. So she says. Vert, how does that make you feel? Why throw the spotlight over to me? Well, it makes me feel quite upset. There is nothing amiss with a gorgeous woman like myself wearing whatever she feels beautiful in. Of course, it would be most unbecoming for someone of her age. You're at the upper end of that age bracket too, you know. Did you say something? Not a word. Anyway. <laughs> Nothing's gonna get through to her. So all we can do is smack this bitch up a bit. Smack who up now? Oh gosh, I don't get what you're saying at all. Was that a joke? It was pretty bad. CPUs could never. There is no way I will be defeated by mere CPUs. That mouth sure does get a lot of exercise. Will it scream, sob, and beg the same amount? <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Uh, everyone's just saying whatever cool lines they want. What do we do? Can anyone help end this scene yet? Yeah, you. Transform. Um, we could transform at least. She does seem rather strong. Uh, maybe I'm too anxious, but when I transform, I turn into that serious leader type of lady girl. And then I'll end up taking control of the situation, just like Noir done bust me to do earlier. I don't follow you honestly, but I'm gonna transform. My personality doesn't change at all anyway. Don't be so depressing, sis. Okay, fine. I'll join you. As I calm down and think it over, everything will resolve itself if we simply make it so she can't speak. Neptune? I don't think that's what a serious leader should say. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! You're all getting riled up. I'll remove you from this world all at once. Or perhaps one at a time will be more fun. Oh, I can't decide. Both options have their perks. She's been rambling on for about 101 lines of dialogue now, huh? Someone check that. I want to know, is it 101? Find out. Who cares? If she won't listen to us, we don't have to hold back. Fair enough. I've grown tired of this directionless blathering. Shall we? We shall. Plute! Hey, Plute! Hmm? What is it? Pishi, you are free to transform as well, you know. Are you gonna bully Mommy? Pico, not at all. You get smacked on your head when you're bad, don't you? By Neppy or Iffy? Uh-huh. They bought me real good. And then I apologize. This is the same as that. Your mommy needs to be punished when she's been a bad girl, too. She needs to get knocked down onto her knees and beg for her master's forgiveness. Do you understand? Plutie, the longer you try to explain it, the worse it's getting. You'll knock mommy onto her knees? Hishi, no! Don't let her words intrigue you! Do not give her any strange ideas! You can make her do that right, Pishi. You're strong, aren't you? Yeah, I can. I can do it! <laughs> I'll knock mommy down onto her knees for being bad! Pico, that's so wrong of you to say. You mustn't say such awful things. I guess this could be considered one form of discipline. 
More like domesticating a wild animal, if you ask me. You're all ignoring me, aren't you? I hate that, but I'll forgive you since I'm ever so generous. Oh, thank you very much. Spout whatever nonsense you like as your final joke before you depart from this plane of existence! I don't dislike strong-willed women, but you're taking it too far. I find it to be aggravating. Mommy, I'm gonna give it my best to bop you on the head and make you say you're sorry. Oh, I take it back. You're saying things that are far too dumb. I can't take this anymore. Allow me to remove you from game industry with all my might in an instant! Huh? That form is... You're also a CPU. Ding, ding, ding. Well, that thing covering her eye isn't going to help, is it? I will it? use all that I have. Unless it has some kind of interface mm, that allows her to see do? better. Right, so let's see here. Let's actually get our SPs up. Should have done this before the battle, really. Let's ah, well. this. I keep forgetting to do it before the battle. That doesn't need it because we don't exactly use her XE drives that much because we can't. So we could do... Sharing force on her. That'll probably be best. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and get sharing force on, but for now, we'll do. What do we got here? Ganestra Slash. I'll do my best. <laughs> but Ray was one to talk about how the CPU's dress. Look at what she's wearing. Like, jeez. Right, so let's see here. An BSB charger. Sometimes a toy really adds to the experience. Indeed, it does. Um. Alright, so, Adam Blanc. Use this. Those there who we go. wish to die, work. come forward! I will not let you have it your way. Let's get a normal little charger here. This should work. Well, not a normal one, in between one. Do to you? And let's go a normal big one. I Keep saying normal. As if everything's normal. Really everything's ever. normal now. Alright, so, Shedding Force. Shall we all advance at once? Just try to withstand this hand! Die! Doesn't work at all! Why are you in this? Oh, so it's nearly got her. Nearly got her. Alright, so let's get the SP back up. How's this? Are you ready? Near enough. Um, get another one on Blah on there. Now. Oh, she I can't go, use skills finally. according to that little item thing she's got. Item? Little. Icon, that's what I want to say. How's this? Are that's, you ready? That's all right. Um, let's put this over here. This should work. What there shall we go. I do to you? Let's do Planetroom CPU. Let's go, Glutie. Yes, you lead. I'll fuck. We can joke around after we win. The final blow. Doesn't work at all. I'll trample you! Why, you? No! How could I lose to CPUs? Ah, it's been a while since I've felt this satisfied. Okay. <laughs> Impossible! It's not impossible, because we've got the power of friendship. Again. Uh, 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 Thud. Mommy! Mommy, wake up! Mommy! Neptune, she just... Yeah, she transformed. I think that creeper did say she had powers similar to ours, but... Not exactly like ours was expected. This is not just similar, it's the exact same thing. Indeed. Oh, good for you, Noir. You weren't tricked. For once. Aw, I plan to leave things as is. But I guess we still need her to answer some of our questions. Sadie, nothing too severe. Do you understand? <laughs> what shall I do to her? Indeed. Enough with the tormenting jokes. Uh, anyway, 
We need to bring her back with us. We'll have to treat her wounds as well. Damn it. Sounds like we just picked up some unwanted baggage. Man, she lost even when she was like that? That's so like her to screw up at the most important moment. Then it's all over on this side. I bet things are super screwed up on the other side, though. <laughs> Maybe I'll get one last bit of excitement after all. The other side? She can't mean. <laughs>